Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, you might have just passed. What was it? Memorial Day. And of course, we have another holiday that's coming up. But you know, meanwhile, don't get all worked up about, oh yes, the fireworks, because there's a new trend that's coming. Remember we talked about, oh, who was it the EPA banning fireworks? We're working on it. Well, guess what? San Diego's leading the way. So, you know, if you're a San Diego fan, say goodbye to those fireworks. Or wait, can they get it with special... Um, no, they have to have an environmental impact report. Oh. Which takes about five, six years. Okay, so sorry, San Diego, say goodbye to those fireworks, Matt. And if you think it's only San Diego, don't be surprised if it creeps up into some other places. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Would you say it's officially over? For the Republicans. Uh, Joy, I mean, uh, Mitt Romney did what the Republicans said don't do under any circumstances. He said that this is the, he said that Jimmy Carter was a great president compared to Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. He has pointed out the minor little business facts, how unemployment was 6.9 when he became president, it's over 9 going towards 10, and it's actually 18. Mm -hmm. That gas was $1.72 a gallon when he took over, now it's pushing $4 a gallon. That we had a national debt of 400 and some, we had a, a debt of 400 and some billion. It is now in the trillions and growing. We didn't have health care problems. Our, our health care costs were less than when he took over. And he said, you think that that's a reason to celebrate? He said, unfortunately, to a lot of people, it is in the Republican Party. <laughs> and it's official fireworks now need an environmental impact review. Yeah, that's fireworks. Uh, <laughs> they said it's going to be, you're not going to be able to even open a fireworks stand in the county areas where it is legal because you can't set the stuff off without your, without your local, without the people in your house filing an impact report also. What? It stops the it stops the Padres games, the San Diego Chargers <gasps> fireworks display, the city's fireworks display. All high school Ooh. fireworks displays because the Obama administration basically feels that we have to do this to save the environment because fireworks are bad for the environment. Why is he picking on San Diego? Uh, they're going to go to San Francisco next. You know why? Why? Chinatown celebrations. The Chi they want to hit them too. They're, 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 not, they're picking on San Diego because I think it's the number ninth or tenth largest city in the country. And if they can, they can basically, an environmental impact report takes somewhere between five and seven years to get through the court system, which means effectively with, the, with Obama going city by city, he will stop fireworks in this nation. Oh. I'm guessing gun clubs are going to be the next to be hit because they're firing stuff and the smoke, you know, even though it's smoke and stuff, you're still polluting the atmosphere. So, uh, they, you know, since you won't be able to, to uh, fire your guns off, that's going to end up banning weapons too. And they're going to re-elect him to the presidency, folks. Watch. And GOP presses Obama on spending cuts and Medicare. Well, don't worry. The Democrats, are, the stock market is now <laughs> raising on the, bad, on the bad financial news. The news that no one is being hired and the fact that Obama plans to raise... The Democrats have come to the conclusion this morning, the best way to handle the deficit problem is to raise taxes on, uh, on businesses, on, in, on rich individuals, and if you raise taxes, it will, it will lower the cost of the merchandise you're buying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got Moody told Moody downrate it, going to downrate their bonds on that news that they plan to raise taxes and not cut spending. And job gains help states narrow budget gaps. <clears throat> um, uh, here's the oxymoron. Uh, they only hired thirty-eight thousand people in the private sector last month. The states are claiming that last month was, uh, was in, in, I think in 20 years, they've never had a better month for hiring people. And in the last since the last four months, they've hired 1.7 million people. Of course, the feds, the people that basically write the payroll checks out, said there's been 175,000 hired since the first of the year. Uh -huh. But the Democrats are all preaching, we've got budget surpluses now because all these people are now working and spending money. Um, Tell that to the Bank of America and the other financial institutions that aren't getting paid on the loans they've made because nobody's working. Tell that to the automobile industry that can't sell cars because no one's working. Tell that to the petroleum cut because gas is going down not because of Obama's actions but because people can't afford to drive now. Yeah, they can. That's called, this is why leapfrog Obama is out now because he's sort of leaping over the truth. Oh. And Republicans question healthier eating proposals. 
Oh, yeah, because now Obama's telling you what you can eat. It was before. The pyramid was a suggestion. It's always been a suggestion. You should have this and this and this. Now Obama is telling you, you have to have. He says, you, you must eat. It is no longer a suggestion. You must eat. 50% of your plate must be fruits and vegetables. And you've got to get rid of, uh, you get rid of anything that causes ozone, which is basically get rid of the beef and go to fish products that are, that uh, basically he doesn't allow to be done. So we can't fish. How do you get fish products? And he doesn't, and chicken is now on the way out because it produces methane, so. And Japan's prime minister under pressure to resign over crises. Oh, he, he basically did his, uh, he, he, he did his vote of confidence thing, but the problem is, is that the, okay, the, he wants, you know, we're going to get BS, BS the bull. He actually wants to do away with the nuclear reactors when 50% of the power in Japan comes from nuclear reactors because it's a bloody island. Okay, and we're going to try something historical for people with BS. Hey, BS, do you know what was one of the reasons World War II started? Uh, I think it was because they didn't have any fuel to fuel their plants because they were cut off from the world supply of petroleum products because they were too far away. Uh, what do you think happens if you cut off the nuclear power? They have to put in fuel burning plants and they have a strong environmental movement that doesn't allow it? Mm. They can't power the country without the nuclear plants. They, they don't have the, they have no natural resources, which means everything has to be brought in, which means everything costs more to build, which means it makes the economy go backwards. But don't worry, Germany is getting ready to ban all its nuclear reactors, and they said, we're going to put 40 million metric tons of, uh, of uh, pollutants into the air now because we're banning the nuclear plants, which is a violation of the European green laws. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. An Alabama town hit by tornadoes bans FEMA trailers because the FEMA trailers never leave because they don't re they build they no longer build homes where the stuff is at because it's uh, they put it this way uh, you know you can't that no one can get loans to rebuild they're still trying to rebuild in New Orleans from that disaster the mm -hmm. banks are not loaning money and they're going to stop even loaning more now because the banks are going broke mm -hmm. again. An AP sources U.S. Pakistan partnership on mend. No, that's supplied by the Obama administration. AP works. The AP is the back pocket of Barack Obama. Uh -huh. And statue of King Tut's grandfather discovered. Yeah, basically, if some are, here's my thing about the, the looted treasures. Uh, I've actually been watching all these channels. They figured that the next king or pharaoh that came in looted the last king's treasures, melted them down and sold them off to build his tomb or pyramid and then the next king that came in looted his treasures and so what happens is there's lots of stuff sitting around you just got to find out what private collector has it mm -hmm. and 41 killed in deadly Yemen street battles and there's going to be more because uh, un unlike Obama you know we could try leapfrog Obama again they're dictators they don't care how many people they kill and when you tell that dictator that you're going to see that he goes to jail for the crimes he's committed, they don't really have any incentive to ever leave. Mm -hmm. And Palin, a no-show for fans wanting Gettysburg View. You know, she didn't ride her. She basically went on a motorcycle ride and didn't go to Gettysburg, so... Was she supposed to go to Gettysburg? Yeah, that also pisses off all the Democrats. She rides motorcycles, <gasps> too. Ooh. Yeah, and who who are the motorcycle types in this country? They are not the conservative Republicans. They are the liberal Democrats. Ooh. And not only does she ride motorcycles, she rides motor. I had last night I listened to that. The guy said, "Well, he really doesn't think much of her as a as a candidate. He's really looking forward to see her in the stars and stripes on that you know on that motorcycle." <laughs> <laughs> that may just get his vote. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. I'll be blocked. Former Google CEO screwed up on Facebook threat. What in the world happened oh, on that? Okay, they didn't pay any attention. It doesn't make any difference. As I understand, they own most of the stock in Facebook. They, they okay, they, uh, they put it on the market. You, you got, Google has like 80, 90 billion dollars in cash to make investors in. So they bought all the stock. They actually probably, they more than less probably the financiers for Twitter, the financial for Facebook. So they own everything. Well, you know, part of it is, is um, what, what do they call them? The three companies, like Yahoo, Google, and... And Microsoft. 
Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, it's one. Of, they're up in Northern California, and it's like it's a well-known fact that those three organizations, anything that's budding up, they invest in them. That's right. I mean, okay, Microsoft develops very little on its own. It basically buys everything. I mean, the, I mean, remember, we're going to try. You know, BS will tell you. Anybody notice that the operating system for the Apple computer awful, looks an awful lot like the operating system for the uh, for the Microsoft PC? It's because they developed them at the same time. That's why these guys were all friends with one another. They went to school with one of another. Of course! And not one of them finished college because, you know, they're paying, you know, we've got to teach Americans, they must finish college. They didn't finish college. And Democrats off message. Because yeah, because of Wiener. <laughs> we have to have that one. I know, in. off message because of Wiener, because they can't attack the Republicans with this guy out there. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it is so pathetic. They said that, I mean, you know, but, uh, he doesn't know that. That may be a picture. That may be a picture of me, but I'm not certain. Like I heard one woman reporter last night. She said, "If they showed me a a, 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 a woman's chest, I think I would know if that woman's chest was mine or not." So, and then they also point out the fact that she was going out. That well, we could also tell if it was yours or not with the outfit that you're almost wearing. So, <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. You know, that, uh, that remember, the best way to make an economy grow is to tax the economy to death. Ooh, 